Hey everyone, Jake Lyon here again with another record pickup. Let's get this inconvenient thing out the way. So this one started probably earlier, maybe Monday this week. There's a listing on Craigslist that said uh, $25 for three boxes of records and a Kenwood turntable. But all the listing itself said was Kenwood turntable with new cartridge and three boxes of records, mostly 70s, big band collections in good shape. So what that makes me think, and probably what made a few other people think, was, okay, it's one of those 80s or 90s Kenwood plastic turntables that someone bought a new needle from to play their three boxes worth of big band box sets. And to me, I was like, well, I should message, but just bought some records and I don't really feel like getting money so I was just sort of like eh, whatever I didn't message him at the time a couple days later I keep a little search for records open on my phone and I just I said I'll draw refresh it and then 48 minutes that listing had been updated with pictures and what you could see from the pictures was this was the turntable you could see a picture of it not really knowing the model number but still that's not your little plastic thing from the 80s or 90s. And you could see three boxes of records. You could see two, obviously, big band sets. but And you couldn't see it was just the spines and not close enough to read. But you could see uh, this on front, which, you know, physical graffiti. So I was like, oh, well, now it's been on there for two days, but I'll still message them. I emailed them, and then I saw that they also had a... Uh, a phone number so I called them right after but I guess they had already emailed me and told me oh it won't be back or till Sunday and this was like Wednesday so I was like all right I didn't know what position in line I would have been if I really was the first person to contact them because everyone thought it was just gonna be big man records or if a bunch of people already had and he had just told me that you know sometimes would be like oh this day will work and then you'll get to the day they're like oh someone already bought them so I was like all right I'll contact you closer to Sunday and I think Saturday night, or sometime Saturday, I said, all right, uh, let me know what time Sunday will work. And depending on what records are in there, I could go up to 75 bucks. Um, just because I figured if there were a bunch of other people that were like, yeah, I'll take them, you know, it might give me an advantage and say, you know, it's, it's worth a bit more to me there's, if there's good stuff in there. And if I had gotten there and it really was only worth about, you know, 25 bucks worth, I would have said, well, you know, if you had someone who was first, and I would have left and taken that as a loss. But he said, yeah, you know, come out Sunday morning. And the other thing I tried to do is said, just tell me the time because I got Sunday free. And he's like, yeah, come out like right now, like at 7 in the morning. It was about an hour drive for me. But I said, yeah, you know, you want to be, generally you want to be the most welcoming or, you know, to, to whatever makes it easier for them if you're trying to get something like that. So I got there and started to flip through the first stack, and it was apparent right away it was some decent stuff. I'm not supported by Magic Cat, just like Beach Balls. Um, and he said, yeah, it was the stuff from college, and he played a bit of harmonica. You know, he got himself one of those old 40 Sure mics and was into it, not in like a, a dedicated band, but he did harmonica with some guys. So he had an interest in blue stuff, and you could see some of that there. And, of course, you could see some of the classics. I really only poked through about, you know, maybe one of every four or ten or whatever record and said, you know, this is good. And obviously, when when he first had gotten back to me, he said, well, I haven't had a lot of offers, but considering you said more, and I'm like, yeah, no, that's fine. So I said, is 60 bucks work? He said, yeah, 60 bucks works. Uh, it seems like you're someone who's interested in it. And there you go. So now I have these. Uh, I really, like I said, I haven't looked through them, so I'll go through them right now. I can tell you the Kenwood is a KD3070. He said it used to be his mom's or some scratches on the dust cover, but no cracks. It's a pretty clean unit. He said he just got a new stylus, which looks like a, an unbranded, remanufactured sure cart. Or not cart, but um, well, maybe it's a whole cart. But it seemed to be all right. When he was testing it for me, he had it sat on his subwoofer. So it was making noise, and I'm like, oh, it's just on the subwoofer. Uh, so obviously we start out with Zeppelin's Physical Graffiti. I peeked at a few records on the way. I mean, the covers really don't have a lot of ring wear, and I mean, you've got your real light scratches like they sat on the turntable for a day or two or who knows what, but really nothing too egregious. Now, this is sort of the things you were seeing up front, which used to be his folks, I think he said. So, you know, you got Kings of Swing, 
And I'm into some big band stuff if it gets a little weird or aggressive. You got the flirty 30s. Uh, the second solid album, Glenn... Solid. <laughs> he had a lot of unsolid albums, that Glenn Miller. Uh, this came up pretty quick, though. Miles Davis' Greatest Hits. So that's a good sign. Um, Sinatra's Greatest Hits. Uh, it's on reprise for a second. I thought it was a Pickwick logo. Uh, we got the Roaring Twenties, if you want to go a bit further back from the 30s. Uh, the Great Bands, which, you know, we got Basie on there. We got Duke Ellington, so... Uh, this is Glenn Miller. Uh, music for dining. Because no one likes awkward silence at dinner. Tommy Dorsey, Jimmy Dorsey. Uh, here's a loose record. And one more time, Columbia Music Treasures. Maybe it goes along these. There's Big Bands Revisited. This is the exciting part of the video. Uh, <laughs> The Great Band Era, one of the big old big boxes. And then we start to get, I don't know if this is exactly the order this stack was, but here we go. We got Little Walter, Boss Blues Harmonica. I never have good pile locations ready when I start these. Butterfield Blues Band Live. You saying that Butterfield was probably his favorite harmonica sound just for the amplified. Doobie Brothers. Christopher Cross. I'll stop if it's something that's kind of... There we go. Blues Breakers. John Mayall and Eric Clapton. we got the London Howlin' Wolf Sessions. Uh, Anthology of the Blues. Detroit Brew Blues <laughs> Archive Series Volume 6. I'll put the greatest hits over there. I don't know which, which is which. So we got Fleetwood Max Penguin. Covered a little chewy. Records. Not that bad. I can't remember if I have Penguin or not. Frampton wins the change. Another Frampton. <laughs> That's that Peter Frampton Southampton, but no, it's pre Peter Frampton Southampton. Rod Stewart album, which I recently just replaced my copy of this. Keith Emerson's on this record. Doing something. Uh, here we go. The Best of Freddie King. Should have, I didn't put a backing track on. Uh, the Best of Chicago Blues. We've got, this is interesting, We Three Kings, Muddy Waters, Little Walker, and Howlin' Wolf. It's like some sort of reissue label. Uh, we go Sonny and Terry, or Sonny Terry and Brownie McGee. Sonny and Brownie. Uh, another Sonny Terry and Brownie McGee. Back to New Orleans. Uh, the Story of the Blues. Sonny Boy Williamson, this is my story. Freddie King, Texas Cannonball. A lot of these I don't have. I don't come across blues too, too often. So, Roy Buchanan, Loading Zone. Muddy Waters Live, which I think I have that. Uh, Sonny Boy Williamson, Bummer Road. Little Feet, Dixie Chicken. I came out of one of these boxes, so it's a little out of order, but... Ah, Roy Buchanan Livestock. There we go. Almond Brothers, Fillmore East. I think he was saying there's a couple tunes on there you can do. No for no harmonica wise. Let's get a little Dylan Blonde on Blonde. This would be reissue. Clean though. Uh, Highway 61 Revisited. I'm guessing these are mostly 70s. Yeah, 70s Columbia. There we go. Dark Side of the Moon. Uh, no poster. So it was well loved. It's a harvest issue. Feels American. I don't know what a UK one feels like, but it's printed in the USA. Uh, Jay Giles Band Live, Full House. And Golden Butter, Best of Paul Butterfield Blues Band. That was the first box, which didn't actually have a box. Let's get into box number, whichever one this is. We got Rod Stewart, Never a Dull Moment. Procol Harum Home. Now, here's the... Got Kirby Dam. Because of the fucking rules. Uh, you know, that's uh, Blind Faith's first record. I assume this is a repress. 
because the American version had a more respectable cover or whatever you want to call it. Yeah. Well, I don't know. It seems like a... Have a look at that one. Let's see which issue it was. Uh, Young Bloods. Good and dusty. We got Leo Kotke's Mudlark. Dire Straits. Got Sting. Aftermath by the Rolling Stones. And what was that? Is this Cry of Love? I can't remember which one this is. I should, but I don't. Yep, Cry Love. We've got Zeppelin 3. Wheel still intact. Someone who keeps your sleeves upright, which A is a good thing, and B is never me, so I apologize to whoever gets my records in the future. After the Gold Rush by Neil Young. Uh, Eddie and the Cruisers. Mount Bone Jackson. Zeppelin 4. Tattoo You. Pretenders. We've got uh, an Abbey Road. Zeppelin 1. Exile on Main Street, which I think I have a reissue, so if that's in good shape, that'd be cool. Uh, Stephen Stills first. Make a mental note of that. Uh, half of Steve Miller Bears. <laughs> and it looks like it's had a, been a rough road. We got Thick as a Brick with the paper. All well, the papers folded up. I always thought, does this one fold the paper differently? Unless he refolded it, because one I had. Oh, ow, I'm doing it wrong. Yeah. One I have, the paper folds up and in, so I don't, I don't know if that was a redone or if that's actually. Oh, the paper might have been folded. Oh, that's a. What? This is a fucking UK copy of Thick as a Brick! Son of a bitch! What the? It's on Island. That's nuts! That's one of my favorite albums! Oh, UK Press! Ten years ago, I wouldn't give a fuck because I didn't know anything about pressings. Uh, Zappa, Chunga's Revenge. Jay Giles, Morning After. And Nils Lofgren, Cry Tough. Got Better Days, which is Paul Butterfield, Roddy Berry, and a lot of the guys. Faces, not as good as Awake. And Nils Lofgren Green 1 plus 1. Uh, Rod Stewart. Rod Stewart. And Ron Wood. I've got my own album to do. I want to say he was stoned, but I'm probably fucking up. Elvin Bishop, Let It Flow. Jeff Beck Group, Rough and Ready. Hendrix, Smash Hits. And there's a little Cindy Lopper, too. Uh... Rush, All the World's a Stage, and Morrison Hotel. Now, this one I did see flipping through. I kind of yanked it out, and he's like, yeah, I got this one in Germany, and this must be a bootleg. Enjoy Jimi Hendrix. Jimi Hendrix Coca-Cola bottle. Probably, well, there's some pictures of him in the gatefold, so that's pretty cool. I'm excited to see uh, live at the Los Angeles Forum. Rubber Dubber Records. I'm sure that's an authentic, but it's got a 20-minute version of Room Full of Mirrors, um, Spanish Casual Magic, Foxy Lady, Getting Your Brother's Shoes Together, Getting My Heart Back Together Again, Message to Love, Easy Rider, Machine Gun, Star Spangled Banner, and Purple Haze Mixed Together, and Voodoo Child. Uh, Almond Brothers Band first record, right? It's the first one where they're naked in the... There they are, naked in the water. Uh, I don't think I have that currently. Jeff Beck's Truth, Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers, Best of Cream, uh, Roseanne Cash. I uh, almost seem like a seal. George Benson's Bad Benson. You better Bad Benson. Uh, Boss Gags, Silk Degrees. Uh, here is Nils Lofgren's Grin, which I already have both their albums, but a friend of mine was telling me he was, well, at one point he's like, I want to buy those off you. Is that? Okay, I don't think mine does that. Maybe it does. It's all the teeth are gone. I gotta figure out. I bet I have a reissue. In which case, I'm keeping that one with a flat. Uh, I came to dance, Nils Lofgren. We go Jeff Beth Group and Alabama State Troopers. I uh, got Pete Townsend. We got some Eagles. Some Marshall Tucker Band. Some Boz Skaggs. Some Later Genesis. 
Little Feet Time Loves a Hero. I can't remember if I have that one. I'm kind of so so on Little Feet. Uh, Bruce Springsteen. And this is good because I used to have this record. This is Fanny's Charity Ball. Fanny's an all-girl group or all-woman group or all-female group or whatever term best describes it without being you know, horribly demeaning. I don't think that's demeaning. I'm probably demeaning. Um, it's cool. It's a good record. Uh, Bruce Springsteen, The River, and The Youngbloods. I don't know why I'm saying an all-girl group as opposed to an all-boy group. I must have problems. Uh, Fleetwood Mac. We done love little Mac. Uh, Marvin Gaye anthology. It's like a nice best of. Pretenders two. And a little YouTube Joshua Tree, which I think that is. The YouTube knowledge is rough. They, they won't be stacked like this for long. I apologize. All right, Police Synchronicity. And Living in the USA Miller Band. Is that what it was called? I thought it was called Sailor originally. Uh, that's not one of the answers. Yeah, reissue. Just didn't know which reissue. Uh, Miles Viles, Joni Mitchell. Jeez. Uh, Bruce Springsteen, some more. Uh, there we go. There's a Rye Cooter. I think that's his first one. Which I don't think I have. Uh, Beck, Blow by Blow. Oh, Frampton Comes Alive. Uh, Bette Midler. Kenny Rankin. Phoebe Snow. Oh, there we go, Beatles Revolver. Usually you find a revolver, it's going to be well revolved. God, the picture looks different. Maybe I've just never looked at it that close. Hmm. I don't know. I'll have to look at it closer. Now this handles Messiah. Well, Fleetwood Mac some more of them. Uh, Hendrix in the West. Leon Russell and the Shelter People. We got Steve Miller Band Anthology. Uh, Back to the Roots, John Mayo, Steely Dan, Katie Lag, my copy, this is as is, but I think my copy might be as is worse, some more Joni Mitchell, some more Pretenders, Jethro Tull, Benefit, Marshall Crenshaw, uh, Songs from the Wood, Brandon, Ry Cooter, Purple Haze, Purple Alley, not Purple Haze, the Purple Valley. Uh, Children in the Future, so that's a reissue of that one. Kind of neat. Had both those reissues. The stack is looking awful. Okay, give me a, give me approximately, let's say 30 seconds. 29, 28, 27, 26, 25. 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, Peter Frampton's Camel. Jackson Brown, some more little feet, some more little feet, and Fleetwood Max Rumors on the textured sleeve. Here they all were. Oh, uh, yes, big generator. Ah, uh, Manicone and the Lost Planet Airmen. There we go. We got Marion Maiden. It's a beautiful day. I believe this is Purple Harm looking at the back. Purple Harm or Purple Polymer. Salt the dog. Uh, there we go. It's cool. It's small faces, but after Rod Stewart joined them, which I don't have that one. I don't think. Maybe I got it. Didn't care. Jay Giles band. An empty cover. Brooklyn Harm Live. 
which ain't going to keep me up at night. Steve Miller, fly like an eagle. Roseanne Cash. Roseanne Cash. And we got Spirit, which is a good one. Have that one. It's a good one. I don't know why I'm putting it there, but... Oh, we got a... Uh, this is part of Apple Jam. Is this the George Harrison one? I feel like this is the George Harrison one, not the box. But I'm really, I can't remember. Yeah, it's All Things Must Pass. Maybe that's what it was. One record was that. Can't remember. Uh, Bacola, which I don't think I have. I think I have the combo press. This one, so it's cool. Uh, Bonnie Raitt, Jefferson Starship, Bonnie Raitt. There's another Nils Lofgren. Am I th is that their first first one? Oh, this is imported. Or bought somewhere else. That's cool. That's good news. B.B. Uh, King, L.A. Midnight. Uh, Boz Gags Moments. Super Tramp, Fleetwood Mac, another copy of that, Rod Stewart, another duplicate grin, which is good, I think mine is all, I don't know if mine's a promo or it's just stamped up, uh, Jack Bruce, Songs for a Tailor, and Liz Dudek, there's that uh, Winwood compilation, and Lee Michaels. Oh, nice. Now, I've seen this one at the record shop, uh, Backstreet Crawler. I've always kind of wanted to hear it and get it, add it to the weird ones. And then we have Fleetwood Mac, Black Magic Woman, which, is this an actual album or is this a compilation? I think it's an actual album, in which case, that's good, because I don't really have any early, early Mac. And one last Nils Locker. I would say... A good lot. Some cool stuff, some stuff everyone likes, a turntable, considering I have like a mid-70s Kenwood integrated and tuner. That'll go real nice with it. Uh, yeah. So, if your first impressions on a Craigslist listing are like, maybe not, you know, I guess you can ask questions or do something. Thanks for watching.